The New York Post had a pretty sassy lead over the weekend, saying, The Israeli-Palestinian conflict has claimed two casualties at the pricey Riverdale Country School. Now, that's not referring to deaths or injuries, but instead to two teachers' jobs. Let's take a look. Here on Campus Unmasked, we typically talk about college craziness, but it's important to remember that indoctrination, academic freedom, and even political violence often start before students hit the age of 18. Parents at the elite Riverdale Country School in New York got a letter last week saying, We have looked into questions that were raised about the conduct of a very small number of faculty members, and have initiated conversations with the faculty both broadly and specifically about the most effective and appropriate ways to deal with controversial subjects. As a result of these events, two faculty members will not be returning in September. One of these teachers was Sean Redden, who was first suspended without pay after an incident in which, according to a parent, he bashed Israel after the country in May killed 60 Palestinians, the vast majority of whom, if you remember, were terrorists. Riverdale also booted Joel Dorfler, who said on a pro-Palestinian outlet that there exists at Riverdale and in the culture at large, assertive, influential, and highly emotional supporters of Israel, and of pretty much everything it does, and has done who are hellbent on stifling academic investigation. Now, leftist faculty are notorious for playing the victim and crying hate speech when anything remotely conservative, libertarian, or even classically liberal comes onto their campus. But then they claim academic freedom when their own ideas are targeted. So let's take a look at Dorfler's own ideas. He talked to teachers and administrators a couple years ago and said, history curricula are controversial. Because history, by which I mean what historians write and teach, is an important element in national invention and integration. National narratives are frequently battlefields where contemporary political issues are fought out. In these often vitriolic debates, far more is usually at stake than simple questions about what actually happened in the past. So we immediately see that Dorfler subscribes to the progressive notion that there is a difference between history and the past. These people believe, like author and NDP politician Thomas King said, that history is the stories we tell about the past. When history is no longer just the unchangeable fact, leftists then have an excuse to mold their politics into curriculum and discredit history they don't like as some kind of false narrative. No. Bad Dorfler. The guy also says that when parents complained about his course, the headmaster encouraged the teacher to allow speakers picked by parents into the class. About this, Dorfler said, and notice the word choice here. What teacher, after all, wants to take on the Israel lobby and its local minions? But here's the problem, dude. You can't admit that you have a biased approach to teaching and then smear others with different points of view as activists, now can you? Why can't we just agree to return to the days when kids were taught how to think, not what to think? For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.